close your eyes and watch your breath. See if you can stay with the breath all the way through the session. There may be noises outside and thoughts coming through the mind, pains here and there in the body, but you don't have to pay them attention. You have the right to choose where you're going to focus your attention, and then it's simply a matter of learning how to keep it there. That's where the skill comes in. The little voices in the mind will say, you've got to notice this, notice that. You say, well, not right now. This is a special time. You want to focus something on something that really will be good for the mind. Because the cries of the birds and the thoughts that come through your mind, they may not necessarily be good for you. But the ability to keep a focus on a place where you want to keep it focused, that's an important skill to master. In terms of any work you might want to do in the world, you've got to learn how to keep your focus where it should be. Otherwise, the work just begins to get scattered. Your attention gets scattered. And you're not really paying attention. So how is the work going to get done? Or if it does get done, how is it going to get done well? And even more so, as the body begins to age, there be pains here and there, you start thinking about the fact that it's going to end sometime. And if you focus on things in, in a way that give, gives rise to a sense of apprehension, a sense of discouragement, or just a sense of just being unhappy with things, that's really going to pull you down. So you have to learn how to be choosy in what you focus on and how to stay focused. So work with the breath in this way. Just stay right here, stay right here, regardless of whatever comes up. The image they give in the Thailand is of these big red ants. There's a type of red ant that loves to live in mango trees, builds its nest there, even though it doesn't eat mangoes, but it's very protective of its space. Anybody who climbs the trees gets these ants all over them. And when you try to pull the ants off, they're biting you. You try to pull them off, sometimes they're biting so hard and so tenaciously. You can pull the body off and the head will still be biting you. And the giants in town say, okay, be that tenacious in your focus on your meditation object. Because little things like the sounds of birds, they're not much of an issue, but when pains start coming or discouraging thoughts to come in the mind, they have hooks. And you want to learn how to shave those hooks off. So it's a combination of tenacity, but also your own discernment. Realizing what it is that gets the mind fooled into running away from topics where it knows it should be focused. You've got to look for those hooks and learn how to shave them off. What's the argument? What's the allure? And learn how to see through those things. So it's a combination of tenacity and discernment that you develop the skill of learning how to stay. And then you can use this skill for all kinds of good purposes.